Hello, my name is Matt Gracie, and I'm an engineer on the professional services team at Security Onion Solutions. This video is about improving your visibility into the Windows endpoints on your network by deploying Sysmon and WinLogBeat. Sysmon is a free tool from the SysInternals team at Microsoft that provides additional fine-grained logging capabilities for things like process creation events, file modifications, even DNS queries. It writes these logs into an application-specific Windows event log on the local machine. We can then use an elastic tool called WinLogBeat, one of an array of agents that they support, to read these logs and forward them into Security Onion for parsing and analysis. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is configure the firewall in Security Onion to allow traffic to come in from those Beats agents. We can do this by opening an SSH session to our manager, running sudo so allow, enter your password if you're prompted for it, and this will open up an interactive menu for firewall management. In this case, we want to accept traffic from WinLogBeat, so we hit B for Beat, and then we can enter an IP address or a network range to allow traffic from. In this case, our Windows server is at 192.168.1.15. When we enter this, it'll take a few seconds to update the firewall configuration in Security Onion, and then when it's done, it'll be able to accept Beats traffic from that IP or network. Keep in mind that this is submitting traffic via plain text. If you check our documentation, you'll find information on how to do it over a TLS or SSL connection. Now that our Security Onion installation is configured to accept log traffic from a Beats agent, we need to install Sysmon and WinLogBeat on a Windows host in order to generate and ship that traffic. The Sysmon installer is freely downloadable from the Microsoft website. To find it, either search for SysInternals Sysmon with your favorite search engine, or go to sysinternals.com. This will install a service on your Windows host that generates the additional log data that we're going to ingest in Security Onion. Now, Sysmon can be very noisy, so when you install it, you have the option of using a configuration template in order to specify which events and resources get logged. One of the best templates available is written by the Twitter account Swift on Security and is available from their GitHub repository. You may want to revisit this configuration at some point in the future to tune it and make sure that everything is appropriate for your environment, but as a starting point, it's an excellent basic configuration. Now, to install Sysmon, we just need to go into a command prompt or a PowerShell prompt, go into the directory where we've downloaded Sysmon. You can see here we've run the help options. So we run Sysmon64, because this is a 64-bit installation of Sysmon. We are installing, so dash I, and then we need to install or specify the configuration file, which is sysmonconfig-export.xml. When we run this command, it will install Sysmon, it will install the appropriate service, and it will start Sysmon in the background. Now the additional data about process creations and file creations and so on is being logged into our Windows event log environment. The next step is to install WinLogBeat to forward that information from Windows event logs into Security Onion. The WinLogBeat agent can be downloaded from the download section in your Security Onion console or SOC right here along the left-hand side. You see WinLogBeat is at the top. It's important to note that the version of WinLogBeat increments fairly often, generally with each release of Security Onion, so you want to make sure that you're using the most current version of WinLogBeat in order to make sure that it matches the parsers on the receiving side. This will ship the logs generated by Sysmon into our Security Onion installation. So like Sysmon, this does require a little bit of configuration as well. Let's install Accept the terms, install, and see it says open WinLogBeat data directory in Windows Explorer. This will open a window to program data, elastic, beats, WinLogBeat, which is where the configuration is stored. In this case, I've already written a YAML file with the configuration that I want, so I'll copy that into our WinLogBeats directory, and let me open that up so you can see what it looks like we have specified that we want to forward the application log, ignore anything older than 72 hours. So if this machine is not on the network for 72 hours, those items will not be forwarded. I want to forward anything in the system log. 
I want to forward anything in the security log. And I want to forward anything in this Microsoft Windows Sysmon operational log. This is a application specific log for Sysmon data. And similarly, I want to forward anything in the PowerShell operational log. That's for PowerShell script block logging. A little further down the YAML file, you'll see we have our outputs. In this case, we're using the log stash output to send the data to 192.168.1.10 on port 5044. That's the port that we opened earlier with SO allow. So what this configuration is going to do is it's going to have the WinLog beat agent running on this machine, picking up all the data from these th four or five event logs, packaging it up, sending it into the Logstash instance on Security Onion to be parsed and then available for later analysis. As you can see, the WinLogBeat installer gives you an example configuration in the file winlogbeat.example.yaml that you can modify for your environment. Once you have winlogbeat.yaml configured the way you want it, you can open up your services menu, look for the Elastic WinLogBeat OSS service, and start it. This will read in the YAML file that we just set up and start forwarding those logs into your Security Onion instance. On the Windows side, this is what it looks like. Let's open something simple like Paint. Okay, so we've opened the Paint application. Now if we look in our event logs, under Windows logs, application logs, Microsoft, Windows, Sysmon operational. We'll see here that we have all sorts of logs. These are mostly DNS queries. We also have process creations and so on. Uh, right here we have MMC, that's for opening the event viewer. And here we have our MS Paint. So when we launched that MS Paint executable, it read in all the information about it. We get the path of the executable, we get the process ID, the original file name, hashes of the executable, and so on. All very useful content from a threat hunting and analysis perspective. Now that we have WinLog Beat on this uh, Windows server, it will take all of this stuff that's being logged by the Sysmon process and forward it into Security Onion for us to be ingested and used as an additional source of information about what's going on on our network. So let's see what that looks like in Security Onion. So if we go back to the Security Onion console and take a look at our hunt interface, right now we have hunt set to break everything out by event module and event data set, and you see we have Sysmon broken out as a separate event module here. If we scroll down in our group metrics, You'll see that the various types of Sysmon log, DNS queries, process creations, registry values being set, etc., are all being broken out as separate records in the backend database. If I want to look just at Sysmon events, I can left click on that and go to include. It will break down just the Sysmon stuff. If I want to see something like what processes were created, I can look at just that. open one of these up and I see all of the process creation rules in here. Because we have native parsing, all of this stuff is broken out into WinLog event. So I can look at something like uh, the parent executable or the parent command line or even the process executable itself group by that, and I can see all of the executables that are kicking off in my environment. I've got MSI exec, WinLog beat, MSI exec, these are from the installation process we just went through, and then here's that MS Paint executable that we looked at earlier in the event viewer. So we get rid of the process creation piece here. So all in all, uh, by installing Sysmon and WinLogBeat, we're able to gather the sort of information that would normally require a commercial EDR 
things like parent process IDs, uh, executable image names, uh, DNS queries coming from individual processes, etc., put them into our Security Onion installation, and then use them as context and information for threat hunting and searching. If you want to see something like what executable on which Windows endpoint made a particular suspicious DNS query, we can do that with Sysmon. This DNS query dataset breaks it all down by which executable on which machine made which query at what time. It's an excellent tool for hunting and for getting additional context into what's happening on your network. And best of all, it's all free and it's very easy to set up. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this video useful. If you have more questions about WinLog Beat or other Elastic Beats and how you can use them to extract data from your environment and import it into Security Onion, please check out our documentation page. That's at securityonion.net slash docs. If you're interested in our training offerings where we go deeper into topics like this, please, the information is available at securityonion.net slash training. And if you're attempting to implement this in your environment and you're running into roadblocks or having trouble figuring it out, please start a new thread at our community discussion forum that's at securityonion.net slash discuss. Thank you very much. Have a great day.